there you guys i'm teddy from bijutel beading and in today's tutorial i'm gonna be showing you how to make this herringbone stitch seed beads flowers earrings i'm making them step by step so i'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to do them by yourself if you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for more absolutely free content like this one in this way you will be inspired often with new beading projects you could check description for a full list of materials other useful resources and a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support and you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the membership comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button now let's start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 on seed beads yellow red and brown here i'm also using earring findings this is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeter source size d this is size 11 beading needle you could use size 10 or size 12 with the smaller sizes it's easier and here i'm also using scissors and i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys so i'm starting my work by picking up six of those beautiful brown beads and i'm going to slide those down i will stick my needle on my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and then I pull and I make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure I want to go in the next brown bead after my knot and I'm taking one red bead going in the next brown bead one red again go in the next brown one red next brown and i'm going to continue this three more times until the end of this row Okay guys, now I have this. In my next step, I'm going in this red bead. I take two red beads again and I go in the next red one. Again, I take two go in the next red again and i'm continuing this until the end of this row Okay, now I have this. 
Don't worry that it don't looks perfect at this step. We'll fix it later. Okay? Now I go through one of those two beads that I added in my previous step. And I take two again. And go here through this red bead. And I form something like a herringbone stitch. Take one brown. Go in the first of those two that I added in my previous row. Take two and go in the neighbor one. Again, one brown bead. Go in the next red. Two reds and go in the following red. Again, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this. Okay, I take two red beads. I go in the following red. Take a yellow one. Go here in the brown one, then another yellow, go here in the red, two reds, go in this red, a yellow, Go in the brown one. Again a yellow. Add two red beads. Go in the next red. A yellow again. Then again. And I will continue these guys until the end of this row.
I want to reach here again the yellows and connect them. Then I'm going again through the red beads. Through these two reds, through the yellow, and through the following yellow. Okay guys, and I will continue connecting those yellow beads to stay nice and tight next to each other and when I'm up to here I'll be back. Okay guys and I will continue this by going through this red bead here and adding another row of herringbone. Okay I take two red beads, turn it like this and go here with the two reds. Then I take a yellow, a brown and a yellow and I go here in the next red one. Two reds go in the next red yellow brown yellow again in the next red one okay again two reds yellow brown yellow And I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row. nice and tight. Okay my friends and now I'm going through this red bead here. This time I'm taking two yellow beads. I go here in the red one. Take two yellows and go here in the brown. Two again, go in the last red one, two yellows, go in the next red with herringbone stitch again, two yellows, go again in the brown one. two yellows and go in the red again two yellows a red one two yellows a brown one two yellows a red one and I'm gonna continue adding two yellows everywhere until the end of this row and I'll meet you here. Okay my friends and I'm here at my last step of this row. Now I have this 
and I'm going here in the next yellow take two yellows go here in this yellow fix it then I take three yellows and I go here through the second yellow that I have on my way and through the brown one and I pull then I go in the next yellow like this take three yellows and go here in the first of those two yellows that are next to each other and then again two yellows and go here three again go like this next yellow three two three okay and i'm going to continue these guys three two three three two three and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and now what i want to do is to add these last three beads and what i do next is that i go again through this yellow bead don't make the mistake to go through this one here okay and then I pull now I have this in my next step I'm going through this yellow one here I'm adding two yellow beads like this and then I'm going here through the next three beads and I add one brown bead then again I go like this and then I go through all of those beads in this direction exiting out of the last yellow two yellows go here like this then I go through the following three and add just one brown bead and I'm aiming again here at this point two yellows go like this then through these three beads and take one brown bead and go through as many beads as you can in this direction because I'm aiming here at these two beads two yellows and I'm going to continue these guys 
absolutely the same way until the end of this row if you forget how I'm doing it just rewind the video see the first steps and repeat them from this side okay and I'll meet you here okay my friends and I'm here where I'm just added my last two yellow beads and now it's time to add my last brown bead again I go through as many beads as I can in this direction and again I'm aiming here to reach this point now this will be the last row of my work I need one yellow and I go here then I need two yellows and I go here and through as many beads as I can in this direction just to save time then again I take two yellows I go here in the last yellow and I add just one yellow and go like this two yellows go here through all of those beads like this then here in the next two yellows take two yellows go here at the top and add just one yellow then take two yellows and go through all of those beads here like this two yellow beads again go here at the top add just one and I will continue guys the same way until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll meet you here at this point and I'll tell you how to finish your work okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last two yellows from this row and now what I want to do is to add my earring finding and I take a brown bead an earring finding and a brown bead and I go back in circle through this yellow here at the end and I want to reinforce this part okay and I have this then I'm going through some beads in this direction and I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread and I'm making here a loop I'm going twice through the loop I've made I'm pulling then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut my thread 
Okay guys, and now my herringbone stitch summer flower seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be inspired often. You could also check description for full list of materials link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook page thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support and i can't thank you enough guys for these actions you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member because a lot of work goes in these videos thank to all of you that do this now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching